Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Kim, this is Kim's Beauty Basics. Uh, today I have a haul for you from a couple different places. The first place though will be Sephora, which uh, the 20% off VIB Rouge or 15% off uh, VIB Insider sale is going on now. Well, it will be over by the time this video airs by November 15th, but I still wanted to show you my haul even though it was a little bit late. It's not that big, but I will show it to you and show you what I'm liking, disliking. I've been using it for the last couple of days. I also have some drugstore items that I've been loving and then I also have a couple higher-end drugstore items it's a little mix of everything so I hope you enjoy if you have any questions just let me know my social media handles will be here but there'll be links down below if you'd like to follow me so yeah if you're interested in seeing my haul and seeing some really awesome beauty items that I've been absolutely loving then just keep on watching All right, so first we have our Sephora haul. So I did purchase some items during the VIB sale that was recently going on. So I got the 20% off discount. So I'll show you the items that I purchased, nothing too big. I have played with most of these items, so I can give you a little bit of an idea since I did purchase these a couple days ago. So first things first, I got these Tarte lashes. As you can see, the box is empty on these Tarte lashes because I am wearing them. So these are the false eyelashes here. I will zoom you in. So these are the Tarte, Tartist, Pro. This is the Goddess uh, Faux Lashes, which are multi-length fibers to dramatically volumize your lashes. These are cruelty-free, soft and lightweight, synthetic blend. They're really nice. They have a really great curl, so like they look super long, but I feel like it's just because of the curl. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but yeah, they're really nice. They're very lightweight, like they said, and they don't like feel that like they don't feel heavy at all and they don't feel like scratchy or anything like that. I do like the band, it's quite thick so it's pretty easy to apply. By the way, just so you know for prices, these are Canadian prices but I will list the American prices down below as well. The Tarte lashes are normally $16 and I got them for $12.80 before tax, it was all before tax. So yeah, overall, I like the Tartus Pro lashes. So second item that I have not used yet from Sephora is the pink clay mask. So it is just one of brightening and unifying masks. It's one of their just like for use masks. I just felt like I really wanted a mask. I love treating myself to a mask after the end of a really long uh, week at school and work. So I got the unify and brightening because I just felt like that's what I needed. And the pink clay mask is usually $10 and I got it for $8. All right, so the next product that I got was a hair product actually, and it is the Way Wave Spray, which I've seen so many big celebrities and um, hairstylists talk about the spray itself, and I just really wanted to try it. I got the travel size or the small sample size one because I didn't want to commit to a really large product. I smelt it in store and I kind of just sprayed it on my hair. I was like, it felt great, and it also smelled so good. So it's a floral, fra floral fragrance that contains notes of bergamot, I don't know how to say that, bergamot, bergam, bergam, I don't know. I can definitely smell the, ro the rose, the magnolia, and the lily. There's a little bit of blackberry, cedarwood, amber, patchouli, sandalwood. It's got a little musk. It's just a mix of everything, but it smells so addictive. If you ever get a chance to go into a Sephora and smell this, I'd say spray it in your hair. Like go with wavy hair and then just spray it. Oh, it smells so good guys. I just used it before on my hair before I came um, to film and let me just spray a little bit more but I just like spray it, toss my hair around a little bit. Oh my gosh but it smells so good. And as you can see it like gives my hair a lot of texture and volume. Anyway it smells really good. It stays put all day so I definitely recommend this. It was $15 and then I got it. That's $15 Canadian so less American and got it for $3 off, so I got it for $12. So the fourth and final product that I purchased from the Sephora VIB sale is the Drunk Elephant Night Bright Duo, which again is a sample or like smaller size, tester size, because it is quite an expensive uh, line of products. So the Drunk Elephant is a skincare brand. I've never heard of them before. I never even paid attention to them before, but I was looking for skincare stuff because I just felt like my skin needed like something to like refresh it. And I also needed a lot of moisture because it's getting really cold here. And so I really needed to pump up the moisture at nighttime. I got this item because I looked online, it had really great reviews. Everyone was like, one night my skin looked better, my pores were smaller, all this crazy stuff. And I didn't really believe it, but then I was like, huh, let's see, it looks like a pretty good brand. Normally the product 
so this tiny thing which is 0.27 fluid ounces of both of these products there's two products in here which i will show you but normally this duo is a $50.5 value and you're getting it for $36 Canadian. I got it for $28.80, which is $7.20 off of the $35 price tag. So pretty good um, value there. And then these are the two items you get. There's only 0.27 fluid ounces in both of these, but you only use one drop of the facial oil per night. And then this one, I also just use one pump. It actually goes a lot longer than you think it is. And I read reviews that also said the same. So that's why I kind of was like, okay, I can do this. So first you use the TLC from Booze, which is a glycolic night serum. It's supposed to refine inner surface skin by gently dissolving dead skin cells and supporting the skin's natural collagen production. So then this is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil, which is an antioxidant rich skin treat. So it's basically to hydrate. So I just put a drop of this into my Vino uh, moisturizer that I use, mix it around on my hand, rub it in my hands, and then rub it on my face and neck. And then I went to sleep. So I put this on first after I washed my face, put a drop of this in my moisturizer, went to sleep. Woke up the next day, my skin felt so soft, it looked brighter, it looked like my pores were smaller. The only thing I will say is to be careful because it does make your um, face tingle a little bit, which it does say online and warn you on the package as well. For the first little bit, you're supposed to experience some tingling in your face. So far, I've been using it for two, three days now. Guys, my skin feels wonderful. Really, I really like both of these products. And these are the products I got from Sephora. I really, really, really liked everything that I got from there. So yeah, let's go on to some drugstore stuff. So one item that I've been really, really loving, it's this Essence Eyeliner. It is the Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil, which is also waterproof. And then it's in the shade 02 and it's called But First Espresso. Very cute name. Um, this is what the pencil looks like. When I take off my makeup at the end of the day, this is what is the hardest to remove. So for the price, it is awesome. And I really wanted a brown eyeliner that was just like really creamy and it goes on super easily. You don't have to do much and it stays put. So highly recommend. Next is from Wet n Wild, another affordable drugstore brand. And this is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. I have been using this for a week or two, so um, the pattern is a little bit worn off, but it's still pretty good actually. And I'm actually wearing this highlighter currently. I really like it because even though it's maybe not the most blinding highlight in the world, although I feel like I could build it up to do it, I really like it because it doesn't emphasize texture at all. And it really just like, it looks like a wet glow and then the pink color isn't too pink. Highly recommend if you can get your hands on this. All right, so another product that I've been really loving over the past couple of weeks is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I will say that this foundation is awesome. It wears so well through the day. It's very good coverage too. Like I would say it's medium and medium to full if you build it up. So I like wearing it about medium coverage. I really like this. It wears really well through the day. I don't get too oily. I really just get oily on my T-zone, which I just try to powder. And yeah, it can last through an eight hour school day and no problem. It is oil free, so that's probably why I haven't had any breakouts. It's also supposed to be long wearing, water resistant and sweat proof. So if you can find your shade, which I know is hard sometimes at the drugstore, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Next, I'm gonna go into just two products that are drugstore, but like higher end drugstore. So in Canada, we have Shoppers Drug Mart. I purchased this, this is the Smashbox. It's the Photo Op Eyeshadow in Nude, which I really, really love the color. All right, let me just show you what the color looks like. So this is it here. As you can see, it's like a nude brown color. It's getting a little washed out on camera. It's a little bit darker than probably what it's picking up as. It's an awesome transition shade. I actually used it today just in the corner and then just brought it across the lid. I've been using it pretty much every day in my crease. Highly recommend this single because it's so versatile. If you see anything in these photo op eyeshadows, they're quite nice formula and I really do enjoy them. They do have a little bit of kickback when you're using them, but it makes them really blendable, so I don't mind it and they do have quite a bit of pigment. Very impressed with the Smashbox Photo Op eyeshadow. So the last but not least from Shoppers Drug Mart as well, I have this, which I have used on my channel before. It's the Stila Glitterati 
a lip top coat. This is a lip topper, which is a glitter. So this is it here in the box. This is in the shade Transcend, and it comes in this really cute packaging. You can wear it alone or over matte liquid lipstick. So basically your under lipstick should stay matte, which I'm wearing a liquid lip by Stila, uh, from Stila today. And it says it won't interfere with lip color wear time. So cool. So I've zoomed you in so you can see the application. I'm going to shake it one more time. That is a ton of glitter. <laughs> so the glitter definitely does seem to stay on there. It is pretty fine glitter, so I wouldn't expect chunks to come off. So pretty nice. All right, so that's all the products that I have for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions or if you've used any of these products. If you wanna connect with me on social media again, I'll put my handles up here, but I will have links down below along with any of the products that are used today on my face and all the products that I mentioned today, I will have prices listed um, in both Canadian and American if I can find them. So if you ended up liking this video, hit that like button down below. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. And if you wanna see more from my channel, just hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you watching this video. And I've loved all the support that I've received from YouTube. It's been amazing so far. That is pretty much it for me. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I hope to see you very soon in my next video.